Hello friends, in today's video, we will be talking about the various things that we can include in our diet to lower prolactin naturally. Prolactin is a hormone that plays various roles in our body, but many times body produces it in excess. And this condition is known as hyperprolactinemia, which creates various problems in people like infertility, irregular periods, erectile problems, whether it is male or female. It is seen in both. Prolactin is a hormone which is secreted by a gland situated in the brain called pituitary. This is a protein which is usually known for its lactation properties that is production of breast milk. Prolactin hormone is not only secreted in male but it also performs various functions. So let's know how does prolactin work. In females it binds to the cell membrane receptors of the mammary glands along with the receptors of the ovary and the uterus. In male it binds to the cell receptors of the testicles and then it sends message so that the particular organ can perform its function. So prolactin mainly plays role in the following three functions that is menstrual cycle, female fertility and libido which is a sex drive. There have been few studies that have shown that prolactin hormone in our body usually is seen to peak and rise after orgasm and even after few hours after orgasm the prolactin level remain high as if we compare it to other normal days and this post orgasm rise in the prolactin is what contributes to the feel good and fulfillment feeling which usually arises after the sexual pleasure now we will talk about hyperprolactinemia which means when the prolactin level rises in the body how does it affect fertility libido erection and menstrual cycle many time it is seen that people who are on various medications or if they have thyroid or if they have weight gain issue so these factors usually affect the pituitary gland and it makes prolactin higher than usual. Higher hyperprolactinemia in our body causes a lot of problems in our body like menstrual cycle. It becomes irregular in females. Many times it is seen that there is absence of menstrual cycle. Secondly, spontaneous galactoyuria, which means that there is milk discharge from the nipples either in male or female, which is undesirable. Third is infertility or in few cases sterility is also seen fourth issue is erectile or impotency fifth is loss of libido because of which the couples face anxiety and stress there is one more thing that i would like to add is that dopamine that inhibits prolactin in our body so uh, in the market usually the medications available make use of this similar mechanism of action to control prolactin. Now we will be discussing what kind of diet we should be consuming so that we can keep prolactin levels low naturally. First, many researchers prove that people who are energy deficient or anorexic and they are weak or who have low blood sugar levels, they are usually at a risk of high prolactin. On the other hand, People who consume a healthy natural balanced diet, by which I mean the person is not following a high protein or keto, but instead they are eating in balance all of the nutrients and the person does not consume any of the processed foods, which we usually find in the supermarkets like biscuits, mixtures, bread, maggie, which usually if you pick up and you turn it around, you check the label you see that the product is loaded with preservatives stabilizers but when you eat individual natural foods oranges apples or if you make salads or if you prepare rice or lentils at home you include yogurt you include lean meats eggs so these are actually foods which is not processed there is no preservatives colors additives so when i say healthy eating i mean to say that the food coming directly from the mother nature and we are eating it in that form 
where there is minimal processing where you just wash or prepare and eat at home instead it's not coming from a factory but if you go in a supermarket please do not consider the things which you see as food these are just products because if you check it is loaded with preservatives and it doesn't spoil for years but if it has a longer shelf life it's going to reduce your shelf life but if you take any vegetable if you keep it outside it would wilt in a day which means that there is no preservative which prevents it from damaging so that means it is natural secondly we can also include germinated foods because in the germinated foods nutrition becomes more bioavailable and the nutrition becomes double fold it is easily absorbed in our body and secondly there are a lot of vitamins which are inactive but upon germination they are converted into their active forms so whenever we hear a healthy balanced diet so it usually means that your plate has the foods which directly comes from mother nature raw fruits vegetables which is fresh because it is high in vitamin c antioxidants and it would prevent yourself from any kind of free radical damage and your food should be water rich as you can see in the picture green leafy vegetables fresh fruits cucumber gourd vegetables you can include yogurt because it is probiotic and also improves digestion and maintains our gut health whatever food we eat if our gut health is not good the nutrients are not properly going to be absorbed alcohol even a single drop is very harmful for our body whether it is any organ liver or brain it crosses every barrier so if you consume alcohol i would request you please please try to avoid it completely if you really want to get control on your prolactin level now let's talk about the food which we can restrict which enhances the prolactin secretion so the first thing you will be eating the foods which is mostly plant based and as compared to the animal sources and now the foods i will tell you please try to completely skip like fennel fenugreek methi third is oats sesame almonds hazelnuts cumin seeds any seed and basil so usually these things if you observe are given to a lactating mother because there we aim to promote the breast milk production so you will try to avoid all of the above things because we give this to a lactating mother but your prolactin levels are high so you will skip it because in case of a mother we want to promote milk production so that needs of the child can be fulfilled so foods like manjeeri dry fruit laddu you have to completely restrict so you have to really pay attention to all of this and i am hopeful that whatever we have discussed in this video you will be seriously following if you really want to lower down your high prolactin level so please follow all the points we have discussed and in my upcoming video i'll be telling you about a natural plant remedy which is available and it will help you to lower prolactin levels if you know any friends or relatives who has high prolactin levels so please share this video with them